If you've ever wanted to be able to draw live on your videos or your live streams, well, in this video, I'm going to show you how to do it easily and for free. So the actual drawing application that I'm using is called Excalidraw. It's a free app that you can use on your browser. And it's actually really cool where you can just draw a whole bunch of stuff. And it allows you to do different variations of different kinds of styles, but also lets you easily erase that kind of stuff just by hovering it over. Or if you do have something drawn, you can actually do a laser pointer where you can just draw to it very quickly. So if you're collaborating with someone or showing someone, you can just say like, oh, over here. So it doesn't actually draw something new. You can also do text and scale it up. And it's it's almost like there's there's mind mapping that you can do to it, which is pretty cool. But for the purpose of what we're doing here, we're gonna be using it as a drawing tool. But so how do we get this onto live video? That's what we're gonna talk about here right now. So it's excalidraw.com. It's a free app that you can use and you can also get an application. There's a Mac version of it uh, that you can download and use. And you can save previous versions. You can save any kind of documents that you work on. But again, we're going to be using it to draw live on our screens. So there is two ways to go about it. You'll need a streaming service like Ecamm Live or OBS. I'm going to show you how to do it in both. So with Ecamm, you can do it one of two ways. So with Ecamm, I have my main window here, but I wanna bring in this screen. So anything that I draw would appear on top of it. So in your overlays panel, what we wanna do is we wanna create, just wanna do a new screen capture. And so it just pops up, but it's bringing up the screen, but we don't want the screen fully. We want to take in we want to take in the web browser. So in my case, it's going to be Safari. So I'm going to click Safari. And then what we can do is we can actually just scale this up so it's bigger than the window. So if you scale it up, you just kind of keep making it bigger. This is how I'm, I'm doing it. I'm pretty sure there's probably an easier way to do it. So now that it is... It's covering me, so I'm I'm there, I'm behind it. So just an overlay, but I don't want my overlay to be completely blocking out everything. So I'm just gonna make this bigger. You can set it up where you have all of the controls at the top, or you can just get them out of the way so you don't actually see it. But the key is to go to your edit page here and you wanna go blend mode, screen. And so now you're not really seeing the screen you're not really seeing the, the web page, which is dark, which is this. But if I make this smaller over here, and then we come over here, I'm just going to make this web page a little bit smaller, maybe a little bit wider, just so we can see both at the same time. And again, you just have to scale it up properly. So it's doing what you want it to do. So I'm just going to rescale it up, just have it out of view. So now I can go in and just choose the color that I want for the text. I'm going to leave it white, which is fine. And now I can start drawing and I'm, I'm looking at the screen so I can just draw wherever I want a oh, nice happy face. Yeah. I can draw my hat outline. Look at that. I can do arrows pointing. And then if you want to erase, you just click on this right here and you just kind of drag over anything that you don't want and you can just erase it quickly. So if you're doing a diagram, say we want to do something like this and then you want it to do website and then that leads to over here. And it has a lot of the same functionalities as other apps. You can do a lot of stuff where you grab it and you can just move it. You can move stuff around and drag it down. So you can start building as you're talking about and you can point to it because you're visually looking at your screen. So if you had this at, in a teleprompter, that would work even better. It's a really good tool so you can actually start drawing and talking about and, and doing anything that you want. If you're doing a live stream, you can then go back and they just quickly make it normal. And then you can have your whole drawing 
You can have your whole drawing up in the background as you're, you're coming in. So it's a great little tool so, to be able to do that kind of stuff. And I, I like using Ecamm because it's really simple to use. You know, you can create different scenes that drop between these different ones. So it doesn't have to be, so you don't have to switch the, the screen modes. Now, if you don't like that, you can see a little bit of the overlay, you can actually type in a green screen code here, a color. So that's 00B140 and you get a green screen. And right now it's still set to screen. So we want to turn off screen, but in Ecamm, you have a green screen key and you can just key it. And so when we go back here and we draw, it's much cleaner. It looks fantastic. And you can use this to do whatever you'd like. And I'm just using a mouse right now, so it's nothing fancy, but if you have a stylus, you can actually draw a little bit better. And again, it's best to look at whatever the screen that is going live and then just move your mouse over here and then you're able to draw all that goodness right on top of it. I think it's, it's, a, it's a great tool. The other way to do it is if you have the app, you can do the same kind of drawings right on the app and then it saves all the history. So if you want to save any of that kind of stuff, it's really good. The one downside of using the app is I, I can't, the one downside of using the app is that I can't make the canvas black or at least I haven't figured out how to do it in, but definitely on using the green screen, then you have your whole, everything just looks good. I'm just not a huge fan of seeing the green on the monitor, because if you're close to the monitor, then that green can actually spill onto you. So I'm not a fan of using that, but it definitely gives you a cleaner look. And it's also really good because if you are doing tutorials, you can actually highlight stuff and really point out and get into the nuanced stuff about how you use the application or what is important, what people should actually be focusing on. And if you're doing it live, this is a great way to be able to, to highlight that kind of stuff. So I'm excited about using this and this app Excali draw and the Cali draw is free, but Ecamm isn't. So right now I'm going to show you how to do it all in OBS. So once you have your camera set up in OBS, you want to just go to the ad in sources. So you want sources and then you just want to click on the ad button and you want to go to, well, in my, my case, I'm a, on a Mac. So you just want to find a way to do screen capture. So you click that, click okay. I'm going to right click on the screen capture, go to video filters and then click the plus button. And we're going to add a chroma key, click okay. And then it automatically recognizes that it's green. And because we chose the right color, 00B140, then you just click close. And so when OBS is running, we just go back to our browser and it's already there. So I can just delete this and we're back to the races again. So if you want to be chatting while you're drawing on, on the screen, and if you get familiar with the shortcuts, zero is for the eraser and then seven is for the drawing. And then you can just start going and you know, whatever you're talking about and just start drawing it on. And then you can point to it, you can talk to it. I think it's a great little tool and then you can just quickly get rid of it as you're doing a live session talking about something. So this may be really good if you're doing finance stuff and you're talking about how much something costs and how everything works. And I like that there's a pen tool or, a, and you can just move stuff down very quickly or if you want to start over, but yeah. This could be a good way to do demonstrations for all the things that you talk about. It's a great little tool. So using xcalidraw.com is a free application that is browser-based, or you can get one for the Mac. I'm not sure if there's one for Windows, but either way, it's a great way to, to use it. In the browser, you can definitely change the background color. So if you want to use the green screen, it's there for you. That is how you draw on your videos and on your live streams. So 
if you guys found this video good, make sure you give me a nice big thumbs up and subscribe. I'll talk to you in the next one. Bye for now.